Hey everybody. Today we're dealing with a really common data challenge. You have a categorical variable with many, many, many different levels, many of which have low frequency. And what you'd like to do is to combine those low frequency levels into some other category. Um, to illustrate this, I'm going to be looking at the quitting data set. I'll make sure there's a link to my GitHub that'll post that data set. Um, I'll put that in the comments down below. This data set shows about 1,100 individuals that have left a large corporation. And we've just got the employee ID and the reason that they left. Some were bored, some didn't like the salary, and so on. To illustrate the sorts of problems that a categorical variable like this can, um, can raise, I'm going to start with a ggplot. I'm going to take the quitting data set, and I'm going to get a bar chart with geo and bar. I'm going to use reason as both the X aesthetic and the fill aesthetic. So we'll have um, bars for each region, for each reason, and they'll be colored also according to reason. So let's execute that, and I'll zoom in on it. Okay, so there's a few different things that I don't like about this, but the big one is that there's a number of categories that are really small. Um, I don't love the color palette, and so my first thing is that I want to change this. When I try and do that, though, you'll see a second issue. What if I do scale fill brewer, as I usually do, with a dark palette, P-A-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E. something a little more colorblind friendly. You can see one lottery is now just not even showing up, and we got a warning message that there's just too many bars for the number of colors that we have. And that's a common problem with built-in color palettes. So um, what I'd like to do with this plot is to lump some of these smaller categories, maybe the smallest four or so, into an other category. While I'm at it, I'm going to want to reorganize these bars so the tallest ones come first. In fact, let's do that to start with. I want to use factor infrequent to do that. So let's take quitting and overwrite it. And uh, I'm going to mutate this column that I don't love. So the reason column is going to be, um, I want it to be refactored according to frequency. And so the command there is factor in frequent. And of course, I'm doing that with reason. So the data set will look exactly the same. If I review this, it won't look any different. But underneath the hood now, the factor levels are ordered according to how common they are. And we'll be able to see that if we actually plot this. Okay, so we've still got the same issue with the person that won the lottery not even showing up here. We'll have to deal with that. The next thing I really want to do is to lump, oh, I don't know, the lowest four or five together. So I already pulled up the help file here. Let's take a look at this one more time. I did question mark factor lump, although I'm, there's not really a modern function called factor lump anymore. It's been deprecated. But the question mark factor lump does bring up the functions that I am going to use. Factor lump min, prop, n, and low freak. And I think I'm just going to show um, factor lump n and factor lump low freak. And factor lump n, the first one I'm going to show, lumps all the levels except for the n most frequent. So the biggest, I'll do four categories all together. So I'm going to have no advancement, dislike boss, salary, low recognition, and then an other category. Um, before I actually do the mutate, let's just see what this looks like. Let's do uh, factor lump n, and then we gotta give it the vector that we're interested in. So in this case, it's quitting dollar reason, and I have to say how many I want. So I wanna keep four groups. And I'll just hit enter so we can see what happens here. Obviously, it's not a nice printout. You can see now we have others in here. In particular, we only have now these other four categories left, dislike boss, no advancement, etc. And everything else has been put together in other. Now, I don't love the fact that this is capitalized and the others aren't, so we can control that. The um, argument we have to add is other underscore level, and then we'll just say we want this to be other. And so now if I print that out, you can see other is in lowercase. So you get to choose what you want to do there. Okay, so um, now let's actually add this to our data set. So let's take quitting and we'll mutate it. 
And let's call our new variable, how about reason lumped, I guess. And uh, I'm just going to basically copy and paste this. I'll make it look a little better here. But so maybe I'll just align this vertically. And that should be good enough. All right, let's execute that. And um, now if we look at quitting again, you can see the reason lumped column board became other salary stayed, stayed salary and so on. So if I take this ggplot that I had before, copy and paste that, and um, let's change reason to reason lumped in both cases. And our bar chart should look just a little bit better. There it is. OK, so instead of all those um, rarer categorical variables or categorical values, now we just have this one big other bar. Now, I don't love it that other is on the far right and that it's taller than this. I usually like my bars going from taller to smaller. I could do another factor in frequent, and um, that would put the, the other bar, the second from the right, with low recognition further to the right. I don't love that either. I do like other at the far right. So I think what I'd really like to do is to create an other category using um, fewer of the fewer of the categories. Probably I want five non-other categories, maybe six, I don't know yet. I could guess, I could just go back here and change n to five until I get it right. But um, there's a built-in function, one of these factor lump functions that I'm going to use. And it's factor lump low freak. And this is another very common, another one that I use very frequently. So instead of uh, this mutate here, I think I'll just copy and paste that. I'm going to do factor lump low freak instead. And I no longer need the n equals 4 because it's going to figure that out for me. I am going to still leave the other level equals, however, just because um, I don't want that other to be capitalized. All right. And then if I do my GG plot here, I should get the final plot that I'm looking for. There we go. So now other is the smallest category of all the categories that were left.